The kettlebell dead clean is a way of getting it from the floor right beneath you into a racked position through the path of least resistance. You're getting your hips and your elbow out of the way as that kettlebell comes up. So first I'm gonna show you what this looks like and then I'll break it down. So as you can see, I start in a hinge position. My hips are out of the way. Then as I stand up, just like I do in the drills, I pull my elbow back and out of the way. And the kettlebell swivels around. So it's literally going from sitting on the floor on the bottom of its base to in the air right above it, almost in the same position. A lot of the time what will happen is this. It's going to flop and hit people. And that's because they're not pulling the elbow back enough. The key here is getting your elbow out of the way so that way that kettlebell can swivel around your wrist and land in a nice strong rack position with your wrist straight. Try to avoid having this happen where at the top my wrist is bent back and this hurts. Nice straight wrist. So imagine your wrist is in a wrist guard before you start. Grab onto that kettlebell hinge pull the elbow back and come to standing. And then when you put it down, imagine it's going down an elevator and just coming right back to where it started and unraveling. You don't want the kettlebell to cast away from you on its way up or down. So we're avoiding not getting the elbow back enough and having it flop and hit us and then throwing it away from us on the way down. Again, elbow goes far back to come to a strong rack position and then it goes down the elevator as it unwinds.